Hi, I'm Michael, and I'm wearing a green jacket. Welcome everybody to GWTV from Golf Warehouse, the place for your golf news, reviews, product launches and special deals. You're going to get the rundown of tour events completed and upcoming and the big stories in golf and we'll be coming to you every week at the same time broadcasting on Facebook and YouTube and of course this is all brought to you by Golf Warehouse, New Zealand's number one golf retailer, the home of course of Masters winning driver Fairway Woods and Irons, the tailor-made stealth carbon wood. So welcome to the show everybody, thanks for joining me, I'm Michael and uh, yeah, my green jacket unfortunately is from the merchandise store, um, it's probably a size too big but I love it, I love the Masters and it's been such an amazing week so uh, uh, I've just had such the best time the last few days watching some really good quality golf but of course the real green jacket went to TaylorMade's, Team TaylorMade's Scotty Scheffler, there he is with the trophy, what an outstanding Outstanding performance, and what an amazing run of golf from Scotty. Uh, really, really thrilled to see him when he, he's, um, from all uh, accounts, a really fantastic guy, really humble, uh, but um, obviously an incredibly good golfer. So fantastic to see him uh, wearing the jacket and hoisting the trophy, and what an exceptional round. Although, he did have a little bit of a blip on the 18th, if you saw it. Uh, what is it, a four putt on the 18th? So... You know, a lot of us sitting there thinking on the 18th, you know, you can enjoy it now, buddy. Walk up that fairway and just feel good about yourself. But it uh, just goes to show you've, it ain't over until the final putt's gone in the hole. So, uh, but anyway, he survived those, those uh, shaky moments and uh, is now a Masters champion. And nobody can take that away from him. So fantastic stuff there. Also in the photo is uh, Team Taylor Maids, Rory McElroy. Now Rory, uh, probably by his own admission, hasn't exactly achieved everything he wants to of late, but wow, a solo second place finish at the Masters with a brilliant, brilliant uh, hole out from a bunker on the 18th to put himself actually kind of in contention. He was almost uh, in a position for a playoff had things gone a little worse for Scotty. So um, that must have been exciting. So good to have Rory in the mix and he actually said after that shot and his reaction that that was the best fun that he's had on a golf course uh, he, he said ever but I'm sure it was in a long time and um, also in the photo there we can see Shane Lowry now who's had uh, quite a remarkable run in majors he's I think he's like had five top five finishes and of course he won the Open a few years ago. So uh, Team Strixens, Shane Lowry there, um, an exceptionally good round as well. So good to see those guys. And of course, uh, commiserations to Cam Smith, uh, an outstanding effort from the Aussie who had a New Zealand caddy on the bag. Um, a shame to see uh, his, uh, his 12th hole uh, nightmare. And unfortunately he uh, finished uh, tied for third. But uh, if we look at the leaderboard there, we can just confirm, yeah, Scheffler at 10 under. Only three ahead of Rory McIlroy, then uh, T3s for Lowry and Smith, Team Taylor Maids, Morikawa. Uh, boy, did uh, Will Zalatoris look good as well during the tournament. And uh, Cameron Champ there, for rounding out the, uh, the top 10, I think it is, with a uh, even par. So there we go, even par. Uh, by the looks of it, uh, brought you a top 10 finish at the Masters. So uh, two things, it shows how tough... Uh, the uh, conditions were uh, names like um, Rose and um, and uh, Kepka unfortunately didn't make the cut DeChambeau as well uh, but it also demonstrates how fantastic a round uh, all four rounds I should say that uh, Scheffler put together there to win by three could have been probably five should have been five but there we go um, an outstanding effort from Scotty and uh, we're thrilled to have him in our team a tailor made stable of players but obviously the big talking point during the tournament was the return of the big cat Tiger Woods um, making himself uh, available and making the cut for all playing all four rounds at Augusta. Now the photo on the left there, uh, some of you will know, is of course from his practice round 
my God, look how, look how deep the galleries are. The patrons are five, six deep at least there on the 18th during the practice round. And of course, there he is uh, on the famous uh, 12th hole as well. Um, now, again, if you saw it, like me, you thought he had a, a, a pretty incredible opening round and a fairly solid round two. Um, definitely left a few shots out there, but obviously in round three and four, uh, uh, got himself into difficulty, conditions a bit tougher, and the putter unfortunately left him. Uh, um, he said, I think he had a thousand putts in that round, I think based on, the, on his round four performance. But hey, let's be honest, uh, we're thrilled that Tiger is back playing. I couldn't be more excited uh, about this. I think he's, you know, they say Tiger doesn't move the needle, he is the needle. And of course, ratings and everything in golf is so much better with Tiger involved. I think I read the other day that uh, ESPN have had their highest ratings in America for golf uh, ever. Um, and they account for that with Tiger's return at Augusta. So, so good to see him. He had a fantastic attitude. Uh, he really enjoyed playing, being back in front of uh, the crowds. And he also believed he was in contention. He, he was there to win. He wasn't there to put on a... Um, to put an exhibition, he was there to win. So that's absolutely brilliant to have Tiger Woods back in the field. And I believe at a press conference, it's been reported that he has confirmed his attendance at St. Andrews in July for the 150th Open, uh, which is, of course, at St. Andrews. So that's going to be very exciting. And um, it's made my week year. Um, because I've actually got tickets to go. So I'm going to be there at the 150th Open at St Andrews and I can't believe I'm going to get to see Tiger Woods in a um, major. So that's brilliant news. So there we go. Um, oh, now speaking of wearing green, this is our fantastic team at our Ellerslie Top Tracer range and pro shop. That's Alana and her team there wearing uh, green in support of the Masters. So, so good the team got behind the event. And I've just noticed... Uh, the green the green sneakers they're awesome where do you get those from can somebody let me know I love those I would definitely I would definitely wear those but um, anyway good on the team for getting in the spirit of uh, the masters there wearing all green and um, a fantastic team there at our top tracer facility at Alizy there so um, in the spirit brilliant stuff but of course the big talking point from a product perspective at golf warehouse is stealth uh, driver and woods winning again on the world stage. So the stealth driver for the Golf Warehouse, probably our biggest launch ever. It's been an absolutely incredible launch of this you know, game-changing driver technology. This is 60 layers of carbon. This is years, 20 years or something more of product development. And of course, it's making a real impact. So Tiger had it in play. And of course, uh, Scotty Scheffler, uh, shifted uh, to these clubs just a short while ago and is on a, a pr pretty incredible streak. Um, as a result, his driving was delicious and uh, a lot of confidence-inspiring shots there with his uh, three-wood play as well. So there we go. The um, TaylorMade Stealth, it's available right now. Uh, we'd love you to come in and check it out at Golf Warehouse. Every day is demo day at Golf Warehouse with TaylorMade Stealth. And um, just we'd, we'd like you to learn a little bit more about it. So here's a little quick video to explain to explain uh, the TaylorMade Stealth Driver. Over the past 40 years, you've inspired us to make a lot of great drivers. All great, but all eventually reach their limit. But while we were making all these drivers for the present, we were also hard at work making the next generation of driver. Because where titanium ends, carbon begins. Okay, well that's the uh, wrap up for the Masters, but the next event on the PGA Tour is the RBC Heritage at Harbortown Golf Links, uh, one of my favourite courses. Uh, growing up, I used to play Link 386 on the computer. Anybody older as me know that game, the old PC golf game, Links 386? Harbortown was my favourite course. But anyway, it's been played uh, end of this week, and in terms of the people playing, I don't think Scheffler's 
in the mix, so somebody's got a chance of winning it other than him. But um, in the mix, we're going to have players like Colin Morikawa, probably Justin Thomas, Shane Lowry. Really good, strong field for this event straight off the back of the Masters. So those are the confirmed players as we understand it, and that's going to be played uh, from April 14th uh, American time. So from Friday uh, through to Monday uh, New Zealand time, you can catch the RBC Heritage at um, Harbour Town Golf Links, probably on Sky or wherever you get your uh, your streaming sport from. Now, something we're very excited to announce at the Golf Warehouse, and we haven't uh, done this before, to my knowledge, is engage with a brand ambassador. And we're very excited to announce that the European Kiwi Tour player and multiple winner, Ryan Fox, has joined Golf Warehouse as our brand ambassador. Now, uh, Golf Warehouse has been a uh, very, very proud supporter of Ryan's charity event, the Fox uh, Fishing and Golf Tournament out at Waihe for many years. Um, and with his, you know, more than 13, was 13 professional wins and his passion for supporting the game here in New Zealand, you know, we want to do even more to support uh, Ryan and his golfing goals at home and on the world stage. So... As a result, we've engaged Ryan as our brand ambassador and we're going to be bringing you exclusive insights and golf content from Ryan and we'll be backing him all the way as he heads back over to Europe to continue his, um, his successful run on the European tour and uh, hopefully get a spot at the Open as well, which I know is his uh, short, medium-term goal. So anyway, we've got a quick video explaining what, uh, why Ryan chose the Golf Warehouse, uh, why he wants to be a part of our team. Here we go. Hi, I'm Ryan Fox. We're outside New Zealand's number one golf retailer, the Golf Warehouse. And like you, I need somewhere to go get my golf equipment sorted, and I choose the Golf Warehouse. Hi, mate. Yeah, not bad, you. The thing I love about the Golf Warehouse, they're proudly New Zealand owned, and they've helped thousands and thousands of golfers into the game of golf, the game that I love, over many, many years. They're golfers helping golfers. Now, they've even helped me out sponsoring my charity event down in Waihe Beach the last few years, and that's just another example of you know golfers helping golfers. You know, New Zealand's biggest employer of golf professionals looking after you, so they've got you covered no matter what level of golf you're at, whether you're a complete beginner or you're a tool level like myself and, and everything in between. You can trust they've got you covered. We need you. We need staff, uh, in particular in the bay, the sunny bay. Um, we need somebody in the bay of plenty for two to three days a week, ideally Thursday to Sunday, including weekends, uh, but we can be a bit flexible. And we want you to enjoy a fun and golf addicted environment. So if you're interested, if you love the game, if you want some great part time work, then we've got the opportunity for you at our golf warehouse, uh, Tauranga Superstore. And what we want you to do is get in touch with the store manager there. So if you live in the Bay, get in touch with Campbell Irvine uh, at c.irvine at gw.co.nz. You can also give him a call on 07575 46. Five, three. So that's a fantastic opportunity. Actually, um, oh, before I go into that, actually, we also probably need somebody in the Wellington region. So if you're uh, in the Wellington region, again, looking for some part-time work, two to maybe four days a week, we've got opportunities at our Thorndon Key store as well as our Lower Hut Top Tracer range. Uh, get in touch with David Thwaites, the, uh, the manager at our Top Tracer range in Lower Hut there for more information. So um, yeah, we've got opportunities all over. In fact, just in general, um, send in your CV to, um, to us, uh, perhaps via social here, or, or send us a message online if you're interested in part-time work at, in any location, and we'll uh, forward that on to the appropriate manager or a team member there. So do get in touch. And here we are. We love sharing photos with our happy customers who've just picked up clubs from us in store. And on the left there, we've got Bruce Lama with his new weapons from Golf Warehouse Mount Wellington Mega Store. He's picked up the Zexio Cross 2 Irons, which are now available. And of course, on the right-hand side, we've got Jeremy Wells from TV7 Sharp, who picked up uh, some Callaway Rogue ST uh, Woods, I understand. So great to have Jeremy and Bruce in store over the last week. And we love sharing with you new products that arrived in store, like the TaylorMade M4 package set. Now, the M4 is not new, I know that, 
but we've got fresh stocks of an absolutely killer package set in an unbelievable price. So the package set includes the M4 driver, the M4 3, 3 fairway, the 3 rescue, and the irons 4 to sandwich. So we've got, I believe, stiff, regular, and left-handed available at an unbelievably good price. So get into your nearest golf warehouse or jump online uh, to secure your M4. Now these have been immensely popular, as I say, so they won't last long. Don't muck around. And also new into the Gulf Warehouse is the OGO 2022 models of the Woody 15 car bag. Now I love these car bags, they have really cool designs and they have a divider system which protects your clubs as well. So uh, they're fresh in, so jump online, get in store, check out these fresh new designs of the, the Woody car bags from OGOs. Now the Golf Warehouse is also a big supporter of New Zealand Golf's Futures uh, Golf programs and so we've got a couple coming up at our Golf Warehouse Ellerslie Top Tracer facility that we want you to be aware of. The first one is the Futures Girls. This is a coaching program starting the first Friday of Term 2 and if you want more information about that then get along to golf.co.nz and search out the Futures section. And on the right hand side there is all, uh, a little image about the Futures All Ability Golf Program which is for disabled young people who are looking to build their confidence, learn new skills, meet new awesome people and get a little bit of golf in as well. So again get to golf.co.nz for more information about Futures Girls and the Futures All Abilities programs. Alrighty, so uh, what have we got next? Uh, oh yes, now very exciting. We had some absolutely fantastic response to our giveaways that were running during Masters Week. So the first one, of course, was to win a tour bag towel and head covers from Srixen. And this is the actual tour bag, the major tour bag that was in play uh, at the Masters. Didn't go so well for Brooks, but never mind. I'm sure he had a great time, or his caddy had a great time, hauling his clubs around, his Srixen clubs, in his bag. But we are giving one of those bags away and all you had to do was tell us who was the eventual winner of the tournament and from random we've picked Stephen Maynard. Stephen Maynard you are the winner of the limited edition majors pack, pack excuse me as used by Team Srixen at the Masters so Stephen congratulations fantastic I know a lot of people are very disappointed and jealous right now but good on you Stephen for entering we really appreciate it and if you can get in touch with us uh, via social media, send us a message. We'd love to get this incredible prize, the Srixen uh, tour bag, as used by the uh, as uh, used by Hideki uh, Brooksy, obviously, and Shane Lowry at the Masters this year. So a fantastic prize. And not to be outdone, Taylor Maid also had a giveaway that we were running as well during Masters Week, and this awesome tour bag, as used by players like uh, Dustin Johnson. Um, Colin Morikawa and others uh, Scotty as well I believe this incredible tour bag was uh, up for grabs as well and all you had to do was tell us whether you would keep it or put it on display and the winner drawn at random is James Duffy, congratulations James uh, you have won the tailor made tour bag as used by the Masters players and I believe and I believe that you have told us that you will actually use this tour bag out on course, so that thrills us enormously. We love these prizes, they are collectible, highly sought after, almost invaluable, but uh, glad to hear, James, that uh, you're actually gonna put it to you, so great stuff. If you can get in touch with us, James, uh, via social media, we'd love to hear from you and get this fantastic prize to you. Now, as well as uh, regular GWTV, which of course we're going to uh, grow and get bigger and better and more exciting as we go along, we are also launching a golf podcast very soon. It's going to be called the Clubhouse Podcast, and you'll be able to find it on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, wherever you get your podcasts from. And we're going to be featuring interviews with uh, some fascinating and big names in golf. So. Look out for that. Of course, we'll publish on social media and we have more to share with you. But look out for the Clubhouse Golf Podcast, uh, a new, new destination for golf podcasts in New Zealand, coming to you real soon. So very excited about that. So there you go, guys. That's GWTV for this week. Thank you so much for joining me. And as I said, this is going to grow. It's going to get bigger and more exciting as we go along. But if you've got any thoughts or ideas, please put them in the comments below. But in the meantime... Have uh, a great week of golfing, enjoy watching, enjoy playing, and have a great Easter, and I can't wait to see you again real soon. Take care.